Hello, I'm back with another topic, which is, uh, I would say, would be really interesting. And that's and how you can determine and actually find the suitable network card driver based on some information, which is you can get from your ESXi host and see if uh, actually the right framework and right driver is already installed on ESXi host or not because in my experience as i can see here is in, in a lots of environment there is no suitable driver and no suitable framework installed on e6i host and today just i want to show you how you can actually find uh, the proper uh, information actually from the vmware side and also from your e6i host for uh, fixing that issue, for example, if you have some packet drops on network cards, or if you have that packet drops on, I don't know, some HBAs or iSCSI, uh, which is you have already. So uh, we can simply go through inside that uh, configuration and see what kind of uh, actually number you get, because that's uh, something which is you have to get it from that uh, SSH to the 6 i host, and you have to run the command there. And after that, you can find out, yeah, maybe uh, that driver or the framework is already not suitable really for my E6i host there. Uh, first of all, let me check the cluster. As before, I use that VMware hands-on lab and I expand there. So I have two E6i hosts there, E6i 1 and 2. And I want to connect to E6i 1. Let me maximize that. Okay, clear. And uh, let me first of all show you what I prepared here on, actually, I prepared some photos for you. There is a command, you can pause the video and actually uh, note it down, that command, and that command called vmkchdev. And with that command, simply you can get that all information for all devices you have uh, on your E6R host, but you can grab the list which is contained that VMNIC with that actually that VMKCHDEV minus L and grab VMNIC. And after that, you will receive that some numbers here. And there is an actual list of VMNIC in the end. You can see. There is a name called, for example, VMNIC 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, whatever you have, because you have to look after which VMNIC is already connected and that link is up on your actually ESXi host. So for that, uh, let's let's sim simply run that command that VMKCHDave. Let me back here. VMKCH if you know, and you have to say minus l and after that you have to filter uh, that things no no new keyboard and new problem okay i found the proper one and simply say grab vmnik and here you will receive that some information like vmnik 0 and VMNIC 1. From the first items which is you have till here, don't worry about those. You don't need to take care of the information which is you can see, but you have to take care of the second and third part, which is you have in the line of that command of the uh, actually uh, what you receive from the ESXi host. And each of those has a message. Each of those has an actually uh, uh, some kind of information for you. For example, first of all, the first two items that has like that device ID, you know, let me open that uh, KB. Actually, you can follow that KB here for determining actually that uh, things. And you can see here as an example, yep, like here, 
Also the second one and third one, which is it belongs to VMHBA1. And for first part, that belongs to that VID. The second part is DID or device ID. And if you want to know that there is an actually uh, explanation of what what stands for a v what stands for i don't know for example the d here and as you can see here that v stands for vendor and the id is id that's simple and also the d is for device and also on a third part you have that sub uh, actually sub vendor id and for the last one, you have that sub device ID. So how you can use it already, you know, for the reason you can follow, for example, something on, uh, on uh, a VMware site called, for example, VMware compatibility list. And when you open that, Uh, that's a wrong one. Let me go for the other one. Like, yeah, IO device search. And here in the corner, you can see that vendor ID, device ID, sub vendor ID, and the other information which is you have. So if I grab as an sample, which is I have here, like 8086 as an, a vendor ID. You can type it here, 8086. Also, that would be really faster for you if you write it here. And I grab the device ID, like 1572, for example. I would say 1572. And let me check that sub. Vendor ID 15 D9. I select here and say 15 D9. Yes. And updated view result. You can see here, for example, yeah, that server is super micro, for example, and that card is already installed is AOC ATG, for example i4s and for example you can expand them like now and if you click on version of esxi which is you have already installed on your host you will receive the lots of information say if you have that kind of esxi update 3 7 update 3 installed on your host that driver installed called i4en and that version of it must be 1106 and the suitable firmware version is 720 you know and you can simply download the driver from uh, vmware website but if you want to actually upgrade the uh, firmware version you have to contact with your vendor for example with the super macro and ask them uh, they provide you the suitable file for your upgrading that framework to the to the exact version which is really compatible with the e6i 70 update 3 and if i back here and for example i choose an example the other model of network card also you can see here the driver version uh, must be actually that 111 131 and it's 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 an old one i would say and here they provide you that uh, driver must be 2240 and the framework version must be 8.30 installed already on actually e6i host and the process is really easy. I uh, actually uh, create some uh, 
post on my blogs, you can navigate there. I put that address here in the top. You can find it in my website. And after that, simply you can find how you can upgrade the driver and upgrade that framework to the latest version or the proper version, which is already VMware mentioned uh, inside that compatibility IO list. I hope that video uh, would, was really helpful for you. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the subscribe button and clear on the bell for uh, turn on the notification for a new videos and actually put your comments down below if you have any idea or if you have any, any question about uh, the technical perspective or the material uh, or resource for a training, you can simply keep in touch with me with your command here or with your comments here. Thanks a lot. Stay with me. See you later on.